Hi, my name is Gail. Welcome to my channel. This is real life and keto, mainly in real life lately. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been following me right along, um, here's another video. It's been a couple of weeks, I think. Uh, just updating you on what's going on. Uh, let's see. My husband, if you're new to my channel, my husband was diagnosed in November with stage four colorectal cancer that is um, also in his liver, lungs, lymph nodes, and um, they discovered in December that it had also traveled to the spine, which the back was always the problem, which led us to find the cancer in the first place. He had emergency back surgery in December. They told him he would lose um, the ability to walk. He was able to move his legs and feet after the surgery, and um, he was... <laughs> Sorry about that. It's very windy outside and the dogs heard something bump and bang and got all freaked out. So, um, anyway, today is the 25th of February. It's Sunday. Um, my husband is in the hospital. Last Thursday, um, well, to back up a little bit, on Wednesday, he started his second round of chemo. And um, while we were at the hospital, they decided to go ahead and do MRIs to um, see he had been having some neurological problems and um, he had been losing mobility. So they did an MRI and they found that the tumor that they had removed in December... Maggie, no. Go. Baby, I love you. No. Go. You're bumping the camera. Um, the tumor that they had removed along with the, the T1 and T2 in the spine... The tumor had actually grown back during his recovery when he could not do chemo or do any kind of cancer treatment. So they called us Thursday morning and said we need him to get up here immediately so that they could start radiation treatment. So last Thursday, uh, they decided to start radiation treatment and they decided they were going to do 10 um, sessions, 10 doses. So was it only last Thursday? Yes, last Thursday. No, Thursday before last. I'm sorry. So anyway, um, they don't do anything on the weekends. So he's had seven treatments. He has three more to do um, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then we're planning on him coming home. Right now he's in rehab, um, basically just to learn how to function without his legs at home. They're teaching him how to transfer from the wheelchair to the bed, from the bed you know from wherever to wherever he only has the use of his arms thank goodness he has at least the use of his arms but his legs he has to use straps that are wrapped around his legs to move his legs and feet um, we're hoping that the radiation will shrink the tumor and that he'll get back the use of his legs right now we have no idea apparently the 10 doses were fairly high doses of radiation uh, he finishes, Tuesday, he finishes his second round of chemo, then he has a week off, and Rocky, 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 get out of the window, stop. So, um, yeah, so today is Sunday, uh, I didn't go up there today just because he doesn't have, Sundays they don't do rehab, so I figured it was a good day for him to just rest and try to sleep and you know, because when he's doing rehab, there's like three hours of stuff that they have him doing. He has an hour of OT, which is occupational therapy, which is basically taking care of himself. You know, being able to clean himself, brush his teeth, get dressed, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then two hours broke up of rehab where they're working on transferring everything out. You know, him transferring himself and basically he can't do anything without somebody there helping him, which means he has to wear a gate belt. I have to be there to help him. Um, so he's coming home on Wednesday. He's actually coming home with less mobility than he left with because as things went after he got up there, the, the legs just continued to deteriorate, or the use of the legs, I should say, 
just deteriorate. I don't know if the wind, if you can pick up the wind. It's very windy out today. Like the sun's out, but it's it's super windy. Um, so I don't know. I mean, he's in good spirits and he he's keeping a very positive attitude, which is great because I'm honestly struggling with. You know, and I told him, I said, you're coming home with less mobility. It scares me. He fell while he was here and he didn't really want everybody to know that, but we did have to tell the doctors and stuff that he fell. And, and that doesn't really have anything to do with the tumor. He may have fell because of the tumor, um, because he had really good mobility when he first got home. He was even at one point he was able to get around with just a cane and then and then he lost his balance with the cane and, you know, was unsteady. So he went back to using the walker. And and by the time we took him up to start the rehab, he was rolling himself around in a transfer chair because he still had the use of his feet. He just was very unsteady on them. So now when he comes back, the transfer chair won't work. He'll have to use his wheelchair and he'll have to, you know, use his arms and hands to pull himself around in the wheelchair. So... The VA is supposed to come out and measure our porch to put in a ramp and, you know, hopes and prayers and positive vibes that he does get his legs back. Um, the thing that scares me and that I want to talk to the, you know, oncologist or radiologist or whoever is like they're talking about not even looking at doing an MRI or a CT scan or whatever, whatever, until six weeks after the radiation is done. Well, we already know that the tumor has grown back two different times in a month's time. Because when they did a bone scan, the tumor didn't show up initially when all of this started with his back. They didn't see cancer in the spine. But a month later, when they ended up doing the emergency surgery, it was there. So they didn't do an MRI after or when he started the chemo treatment. And it was in that month of healing when he was just in his back brace. And he's still in the back brace. But it was in that month of healing that the tumor grew back in his back. Where they took out the, the vertebrae. So, you know, my thinking is, do we really need to wait six weeks before we look at this? Because if, if they didn't get it all, if it didn't kill it, it's going to grow back. And we're going to be right back to ground zero again. So it's... For me, being just the observer for the whole thing and watching him go through this, it's very frustrating. And I have a tremendous amount of people who are offering, you know, prayers and support and positive vibes. And people have just been wonderful. And, and we really appreciate it because without it, I don't know that I would be holding up as well as I am. Um... I uh, just try to keep a positive attitude every day that, you know, appreciate every day. And I'll go back up the rest of the week and bring him home on Wednesday. And we'll just take one minute at a time. Um, it is it is very rough just to see him so declined to, to, like last October, he was just, he just was a, very busy person, very active person. During the summer, he worked two different jobs. So he worked, you know, in the morning before he went and did his afternoon job or a second shift job or, you know, he was just go, go, go. And now it's just so completely different than it was. So I do appreciate everybody, um, your, your kind words and your positive prayers and support. I, it's tremendously amazing and humbling to me. I just, I'm amazed, you know, um, and very appreciative. And I'm sorry that I, this isn't a much more upbeat, bubbly kind of video, but I did tell everyone on the last video that I would try to keep everybody updated. So, um, I think this is long enough and I will let you know how things go after we get him home next week. And if his legs start coming back, hopefully, you know, prayers and wishes and positive vibes and, you know, it, it's, I think we'll, we'll know. He'll have a week off from chemo and radiation and everything and then he starts up again in 
March 14th, 15th. I can't remember. But anyway, that's when he starts chemo up again. And uh, so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Might be March 8th. It's on the calendar. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, and um, I appreciate everybody, and I hope you're all having an awesome Sunday. Hug your loved ones. Appreciate them every minute, even when they annoy the bejesus out of you. Thanks for watching. And, um, oh, as far as keto goes, I was tracking, and then when my husband ended up back up in the hospital, um, the tracking kind of went out of the window. I am staying keto. I haven't like eaten anything that was like off plan. Um, I can't say that I've eaten like low calorie or low, you know, moderate, but I have stayed keto. So, so there's that because I just know if I don't, I just end up hurting and, you know, and less able to cope with everything that's going on. So, so is there is that. So, Hope you all have a great day and I'll let you know how things go later on. Thanks for watching.